In order to start the process of installing this report on your computer, you actually need to start by installing a couple of additional components. So we're going to use a software called R and RStudio in order to handle the processing of the report, but these need to be installed um, on your computer based on your OS that you're using. So the first step, based on what we have here, we see the steps that are written down here. You can just follow these steps basically and install this uh, to get it up and running on your own system. So the first thing we need to do is actually install R on our system, the software R. So we can just click on the link here and it'll open up the page for us. Right? And we want to download the software. So you'll see the download option here. Okay, And there's going to be a bunch of mirrors. Basically just select the area that is closest um, in your country. For me, I'm in Canada, so I'm going to select a Canadian mirror. Now, then you'll be able to download and install R based on the location, or sorry, based on your operating system, right? So here we have Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to select this link. So once we do that, then we just click on the first option. There's a couple different options here, but for the sake of simplicity, and because this is probably the first time you're installing the software, um, then you select the base option, okay? And once you do that, it's going to allow you to download the software. So I'm just going to go ahead, click on the download link, and it's going to download that for me. Once that's done, we can go through the installation process. Okay, so the software has been downloaded to my computer, so I'm just going to open it up. Now, depending on what browser you're using and where you've downloaded it, you know, this might be a little bit different for you, but just find the file that you've downloaded, open that up, and then we can basically walk through the, the installation uh, process here. So uh, we set up a language, uh, accept the license agreement. You can give that a further read. I've used the software many times before, um, but you can give that a further read just to make sure you agree with all the terms there. And then you can install it to, to your area of choice. Now, of course, I'm going through Windows here. If you have Mac uh, or uh, Linux, the installation might look a little bit different, but the process is still the same, okay? So I'll go ahead and I'm just going to install um, everything. Um, for now, and I'm just going to accept the defaults, okay? And uh, yeah, we'll just create a start menu folder for this called R. Um, leave this as default, okay? Um, you can also create additional shortcuts if you want. Okay, and we'll just let it install, and once that's done, um, you should be good to go, basically. Okay, so the installation process for R has been completed. So we can go ahead and finish, and we're done with that component of setting this up. Okay, so I'm just back in this GitHub repository where the instructions are listed out for me, and the next step it says is to download and install RStudio. So I'm going to go ahead, click on the link, open it up. Now um, I'm going to just... Uh, download this quickly. Now you can see here, step one, it says install R. Now we've already done that in the previous step, right? So now what we want to do is download RStudio. Now it's already detected um, that I'm using Windows, but if you have another operating system, then you should be downloading um, RStudio for that particular operating system. Okay, so I'll download it for Windows here. Once again, just let it download. And uh, once that's done, we'll go through the installation process. Okay, so it's been downloaded. I'm going to get, go ahead and open it up. Once again, locate this file wherever it happens to download on your particular computer. Okay, um, and then we'll just walk through that. Let it install. And once again, I'm going to leave all the options as default. Okay, and just let it install. Okay, so there's nothing uh, tricky about this installation either. Okay, and once that's done, we're going to go ahead and finish that, and we're done installing RStudio at this point in time. Okay, so the next step is to install um, the Git Source Control Management software. We can see this here on this page. So I actually already have this set up on my computer, and it's a little tricky for me to remove it. So I'm just going to remove, uh, or sorry, just follow the steps that you would go through, but I'm not actually going to install this on my computer, but you follow the same steps to set it up on yours. So go ahead and click on the link, and the first thing you want to do is download Git for your operating system, right? So 
if I have Windows, you know, I can just click on the link here as an example, it'll download it for me, or I can go to the operating system um, of my choice and select what I need. Now, um, you can see there's different uh, versions based on the, the ver version of Windows that you're using, okay? So go ahead and download and install. Uh, here, I can download the installer actually. So if I click on one of these, I have 64-bit Windows. It'll download the installer for me, and then I need to install Git. So after you install Git, um, another piece of software I would maybe suggest downloading if you're not as familiar with using the command line is a um, software called GitHub Desktop. Um, this will help us with some of the other actions that we're going to perform later on down the line, um, you know, using a user interface basically instead of using the command line. Um, so it's just up to you if you're familiar with Git and GitHub and how that works. Um, then you know you can go ahead and skip this step. But if you're not really that familiar, I would suggest you download this piece of software as well. Okay, so the next step is to clone the source of this repository to our own system. So what we want to do basically is download everything within this repository to our computer so we can use it locally, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab this link before I continue, okay? I'm going to just copy this link address, okay? And then I'm going to move to this software called GitHub Desktop, okay? Um, and th in this uh, software, it just makes, I, I personally find it a bit easier to clone um, repositories and things like that. If you're familiar with the command line and using Git, then of course you don't need to follow these instructions. Now what I'm going to do, um, where it says current repository. Now I have a couple ones. Now you might not have this when you first open it up, um, but I'll just expand this and I'll go to add and then clone repository, okay? And what I'm going to do, there's a couple options here. You know, maybe it opens you up somewhere else in one of these other tabs. Select the URL tab and then copy the URL um, from the, the repository online, okay? Um, and then when I, when I do that, it's going to allow me to clone this. Now, it's not allowing me on my computer because I already have this particular folder created. Um, so for example, if I just call this something else, I could clone this repository. I'm, I'm not going to do that because I have it downloaded. But, um, but for you guys, just make sure to create a folder and, and you know remember where that folder is so you can copy the contents of the repository online to your own computer, okay? So once that's all done, select clone and it will download everything for you. Okay, so now we have to start actually getting into the software that we downloaded previously. So um, we have the repository. Now we need to actually work a little bit on setting up R. So I'm going to open up R Studio, which is the application, one of the applications that we downloaded. Okay, and I'll just open it up. And this is the first time it's being opened up, so um, you'll see something similar. So it might ask you a couple things. Um, when you first log, uh, open it up for the first time. So I'll just say yes. We can see um, it's running. We can see that the R version that I downloaded um, is indicated in this console. Now, if you're not familiar with R Studio at all, um, you know, you can actually, you know, modify how this looks quite a bit. But what we see here um, where my mouse cursor is hovering over is the console itself. This is where we can type in different commands, etc. cetera. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to copy and paste stuff into the console and we're not going to go over any other specific commands. Um, and then probably on the right side, what's most important is understanding this um, file structure here um, because this is where I can access you know, various um, pieces of information that I want to use. And in this case, I've downloaded the copy uh, of this uh, repository that has all my files um, to use. So I would want to make sure I'm able to find that um, on this computer and subsequently you know, open up the files um, that are on this repository, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just going to install the extra stuff that is needed in order to run the metadata assessment, okay? So I'm just gonna take all this, I'm gonna copy it, okay? I'm just copying it, or you know, you can right click and, and copy it, whatever. Go back to our studio, paste that in. Now uh, you can see it doesn't really come out the way I want. There's some random stuff I don't need. I'm just gonna get rid of any of the text that is not needed, okay? And then I'll hit enter, and it's going to go ahead and download all those additional packages for me. Now, um, if for some reason it doesn't allow you to install these things, 
just make sure you're running it on an account um, you know where you have some type of administrator privileges um, on your computer otherwise it's not going to allow you probably to install some of this stuff it's, it might end up in errors and and other things of that nature okay but you want to make sure you install all these before we attempt to run the report okay so you can see it's just going to download all this stuff and we'll let it go and once that's done um, we can stop at that point okay so you can see that it has completed um, the installation process um, all the different stuff a summary um, of all the different extra stuff that it has been uh, added um, is summarized here um, you know we're, we're not going to cover um, what all these different things do but we need all of them to run um, this report um, in DHIS2 okay so the last part of these instructions that we're going to cover is creating a file called our profile okay and what we're going to do is create that in the directory of the cloned repository okay so I'm just going to copy these details and we're going to talk through these details together, what they all represent. So don't worry about that for now, okay? We just want to make sure everything is set up. So I'm copying these details, okay? And I'll go back to R, okay? And what I've done is I've opened up the folder um, of where I have cloned this repository, okay? So on my computer, it's in this folder, Metadata Assessment. And I want to save this R profile file in the same folder as this repository, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll go to File, I'll create a new file, and create a new script, okay? And I'm just going to copy the contents of um, the information from the online repository, okay? And then I'll just save this file. Okay, and I'm saving it in the same... Um, same folder as I have, uh, you know, all the rest of the information that I need. Okay, and we're just going to call this dot r profile. Okay, so we'll just go back to the repository, create a file called dot r profile. Okay, so you could copy this text and create um, a file with a similar structure if you need. Okay, um, but I'll just type it in, or I've just typed it in. Okay. And once you're done, okay, and make sure you save this in the same folder um, as the rest of the information that you've saved from the online repository. Okay, I'll click on save. Okay, we'll see that uh, it's given this file name here, and we'll see it's appeared in that folder, okay? So we wanna make sure it's in the same folder as all this other information, okay? So when you've gotten to this point, um, you're kind of at a, a good, good starting point, and We'll go over, you know, working with the report and what all the other inputs are for this report, um, you know, when we uh, get together in person.